So in this lesson, we're going to look at trying to solve logarithms that have a different base. So this would be a situation when we have a base that is not base 10 or base e. So for example, here we have a logarithm with base 3.4 right there. And we have an argument of 4. What we want to do is try and find what the power is. If we were to rewrite this log as an exponential, it would look something like this. So 3.4 is our base. We don't yet know what our power is, but we know that this sum here is equal to 4. So there is a formula to solve this type of exponential. And I'm going to write this out now. So the formula is log to the base a with an argument of x, which is equal to log to the base b with an argument of x divided by log to the base b with an argument of a. Now with this equation, we can set a equal to 3.4, and that will be our base up here, and our argument x will equal 4. Now, because we can solve base 10 logarithms quite easily using a calculator, we can set b equal to 10. So these will be base 10 logarithms here. So if we substitute these values in to this equation now, we get log 3.4 with an argument of 4 is equal to log 10 with an argument of 4 divided by log 10 with an argument of 3.4. We can solve the right hand side quite easily using a calculator, which we can do here. This calculator here. And we've got 4 log. Let's store that in the memory. And we've got divided by 3.4 log 10. And that's our answer. So our power here is equal to 1.133 to three decimal places. Now we can test out our power here by writing the exponential. So if we got 3.4 to the power of 1.133, that should come close to 4. Let's see if we can get this value. This is our exact value, which we got stored in memory. If I do 3.4 to the power of 1.328, we get 4. So where does this formula actually come from? How can we derive this formula? Well, we can start with two exponentials. We can have a equal to base b to the power of c, and we can have x equal to base a. Let's do that again. So we can have x to the power of base a to the power of d. Now, with these two exponentials, 
we can take their log. So here we have log of base B with the argument of A equal to C and we have log base A with an argument of X equal to the power of D. And with these exponentials, we can also combine them because we've got the base A here and the result here, and we can combine these two. So we end up with X, we end up with X being equal to B to the power of C, which was our original A over here, to the power of D. And when you have an exponential like this, where you have two powers that are multiplied by one another, we end up with x, we end up with x being equal to b to the power of c times d. We can take a log of this as well. So we take a log of this equation here. We have log to the base b with the argument of x equaling being equal to c times d. Now we've already got the values of c and d up here being log base a to the x and log base b to the a. So we can add these in to this expression here. So if we do that now, we end up with we end up with log base b x equals log base b to the a multiplied by log base a to the x log base a to the x. There we go. Now all we need to do with this equation is transpose it to make this the subject of the equation. So we can divide both sides by log base b to the a and we get log base b to the x divided by log base b to the a being equal to log base a to the x and that's our formula. So let's finish off with one more example. So if we have log to the base of 2 with an argument of 3.66, what does that equal? Well, we can use our formula again. So it starts off with log with the base of 2 to the argument of 3.66. And if you remember back to our formula, we have a in this position and x in this position. So this will equal to log to the base 10 with an argument of x, which is this value here, 3.66, divided by log to the base 10 with an argument of a, and this is the a value here. So when we divide these two logs together, we get a value of 1.8 seven to two decimal places. So this is equivalent of saying two to the power of 1.87 is equal to 3.66.